Hey guys, Nick here again from Quick Tech, and you can see I'm back in my garage, and this is a follow-up video to a previous uh, video I made about the Greenworks 2000 PSI power washer. This is a follow-up to see kind of how the progress went, uh, power washing the brick outside in my backyard. Also, I picked up an accessory to the Greenworks uh, power washer, and that's this guy, which is kind of a, a surface cleaner. So rather than spraying uh, in the previous video, you know, inch by inch, this is supposed to cover a larger surface, uh, 11 inches to be uh, exact. So we'll unbox this, install it, and uh, you can see how this really makes the job much faster. Uh, this was only about uh, $29 at Lowe's, so uh, all in with the power washer and this accessory, we're looking at uh, less than 200 bucks, which I think is a decent deal. We don't even need a box cutter, actually. Pops right open. It's by the same company, Greenworks, so it should work fine. And inside the box is just the uh, item and some paperwork. So, kind of a boring unboxing, so let's uh, put it to work. So the surface cleaner I would recommend using on flat surfaces only. You can see since a lot of my outside bricks aren't level due to the elements, the surface cleaner isn't really doing as good a job as it would on something a bit more flat like concrete. That being said, it's best to go over the area in a smooth, slow pace, as rushing this tool across the surface will not only make things uneven with potential striping, but also risks lifting the unit from the surface. This tool also leaves a lot of water behind, so much so that I needed to spray it downhill using a nozzle attachment before proceeding any further. You'll also see the absurd amount of filth that successfully lifted from the pavers in such a short time. The chunks of dirt you're seeing are actually pieces of moss that were growing in between each brick. So let's see the surface cleaner do its thing in quadruple time, before switching to a spray nozzle. So unfortunately, because my yard is so filthy, it's gonna take several passes until I get it completely clean. So as a first pass, I'm just gonna use some of the uh, different nozzles that came with the machine. Then I'm gonna switch it over to the surface uh, scrubber that I bought and uh, hopefully show you guys a finished product. So because my outside pavers were so completely filthy, after a pass with the surface cleaner, there was so much moss and excess filth left behind that I really needed to go over the area again with a wider spray nozzle, just to keep the dirt moving along and prevent it from pooling. This process of switching between the surface cleaner and the spray nozzle was repeated several times, and while the surface cleaner definitely cleans a wider area faster, I'd say the results are around 70% of what a dedicated spray nozzle can accomplish, that being in double the time. You can see here now that I've switched back to the turbo nozzle shown in part one of the series. All in all, if you want perfect results, nothing is going to beat manually spraying inch by inch with a spray nozzle attachment. The surface cleaner, while convenient and definitely covering more area in half the time, simply can't cover every crevice, and I'd say it's best for a smooth concrete like a sidewalk or a driveway. If you do decide to pick up the surface cleaner, I'll have a link down below in the description. I would do one pass with it, and then switch to a spray nozzle for any finishing touches. One last thing worth mentioning before we check out the final results of this project is that when power washing, be sure to wear clothing that you don't mind mucking up, as dirt spray back is definitely a thing. And whatever pants, shirt, or shoes you're wearing will definitely need a good wash in the laundry. So here we go, the moment of truth. I present the end result. If you can look past the weeds and the worst patch job you've probably ever seen on a foundation crack, the outside pavers are clean as a whistle, and the results are truly night and day if you've seen part one of this power washing series. It's amazing and almost embarrassing that the brick outside was so completely filthy. All this time I actually thought the brick was a lovely dark brown color. Who knew it was actually light red? So I'll let the results speak for themselves. You can see the Greenworks pressure washer did a great job on the deck, the brick, and oh yeah, as for my IKEA sanding project, well the turbo nozzle made quick work of removing the existing peeling stain, and I was able to toss on a fresh coat, which only adds to the appeal of our outdoor space. So I hope you enjoyed this two-part series, and while my channel is mostly focused on tech, 
I invite you to hit that like button and subscribe as I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing a lot more items for the home. If you have any questions on the power washer or any of its attachments or nozzles, leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to reply. Also, let me know if you want to see the surface cleaner on a smoother surface, as I'm sure my sidewalk outside could use a good clean. Again, links to the pressure washer, surface cleaner, and other cool accessories will be down below. So I'll just leave off with some short clips of what the backyard looked like before. And you can see it really is amazing what the Greenwork surface cleaner and spray nozzles were able to do. These tools literally helped me reclaim my backyard living space. Well, that's about it for me. As always, this has been Nick from Quick Tech, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one.